and girls, I am so excited to be back. I miss you guys so much. I know I think I say that every time I'm here on KidSpot, but every day that goes by where I don't get to see you guys, my heart aches just a little bit more. So I want to know what you guys have been up to. So every single kid that's watching right now, I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you get to get your parents to help you and put one thing that you've done in the last month in the feed so I can see what you guys have been up to. I was scrolling through Facebook earlier this week and I saw my friend Hayden shaved her own head. That is crazy. Have you guys done anything crazy? I also saw that my friend Claire learned how to ride her bike without training wheels. So good job, Claire. And I don't know if you guys know my son Cooper, but what he's been up to is he's build, been building a lot of Legos. And this has nothing to do with our Bible story today, but I actually brought one of his builds. I don't know if you guys can see this good, but he built this cool shark and I was so impressed. But we have a whole table full at home of Lego. So that's what we've been up to. And we've also been watching the show Lego Masters. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's on Hulu if you haven't, but our family got really into it. So again, I want to know what you guys have been up to. So if you haven't yet, make sure you have your parents comment and tell me what you've been up to. And then we're going to jump right into our lesson today. So today we are going to learn about what it means to bust our fears some more. And today we're going to talk about busting our fears with God's help. And believe it or not, no matter how old you are, we all need God's help. Even I need God's help. And when I'm at home, a lot of you guys know I have a new baby and she cries a lot. Babies cry a lot, or at least mine does. And so I constantly have to add, ask God to help me to have patience and peace so that I can take the best care of her. So as we read the story in just a minute, I want you guys to be thinking about something that you need God's help with, that you need to ask God to help you with this week. I know none of you will need help with this, but just as an example, something might be, you might need to ask God to help you to obey your parents. Like I said, none of you guys probably do, but that's just an example. Or maybe you've been stuck inside your house with your siblings and you need to ask God to help you to get along with them. Probably not true for any of you guys either. Or maybe you're afraid of the dark and you need to ask God to help you to overcome your fear. Whatever it is, I want you guys to be thinking about that as we read our story today. We're going to read a story about a man named Gideon, and it's a true story from a long, long time ago who needed God's help. And so before we do that, we're going to find it together in our Bible. So does everyone have their Bible? Ashlyn, do you have your new Bible? Cooper, your Bible? Jazzy, is your Bible ready? We are going to do a sword drill. And what we're going to do is we're going to find this story together. So in just a minute, everyone's going to put your Bibles up in the air. And I'm going to say one, two, three, charge. And we're going to find Judges chapter 6 together. Close those Bibles if you're already cheating. No cheating. You got to wait till I say go. And when I say go, we're going to find, like I said, Judges chapter 6. And then if you find it, I want you to comment in the feed that you found it because whoever finds it first is going to get a shout out next week. And who knows, you might even get a surprise in the mail from me. So are you guys ready? Let's put our Bibles up in the air. Bibles up. One, two, three, go. We're going to find Judges chapter 6. Do you guys know if it's in the Old Testament or the New Testament? If you guys said Old Testament, you're right. That means it's in the first half of the Bible. I'm having trouble here. All right. So Judges chapter 6. I bet you guys all found that before me because I'm flopping around here. But like I said, it's in the Old Testament, the first half of the Bible. So make sure you guys can keep looking if you're still looking, but make sure you put your bookmark there because I want you guys to read that together with your family either today, later, or this week sometime because I sent out some questions for you guys and some fun games and I want you guys to do those because my heart is for you guys to keep reading your Bibles and connecting with Jesus, especially in this season. So let's go ahead and read the Bible story together from Judges chapter 6 and it also goes into Judges chapter 7. But this story is called God Helps Gideon. So God's people were living in Israel, but they were not obeying him at all. Do you guys ever have trouble obeying God? I know I do sometimes. Now they were in trouble because a group of people 
called the Midianites lived nearby and were stealing their food. That does not sound very nice. So God's people were hiding because they feared the Midianites. Finally, they asked God for what? They asked him for help. God sent an angel to a man named Gideon. The angel said, God wants to help you get the Midianites out of Israel. So we're already hearing a theme here. God wants to help us just like he's helping Gideon. At first, Gideon was scared too. So he asked God to give him a sign that God was really going to help him. Gideon put a piece of sheep's wool outside one night and said, If the wool is wet with dew in the morning, but the ground is dry, then I will know that you are going to help me rescue Israel. And that's exactly what happened. God showed Gideon that he was going to what? Help him. I am so glad that I have God as my helper. So Gideon gathered 3,200 men. That's a lot of men. I looked up yesterday and there are apparently about 1,600 people that live in the city of Radford. And so that is double how many people in Radford. And he had that many men gathered and was ready to fight the Midianites. But God said, you have too many men. If I let you all fight the Midianites, the Israelites will think they were strong enough to win on their own. So ask if anyone is afraid and tell them to go home. When Gideon asked if anyone was afraid, 2,200 men out of those 3,200 went home. So that left only, some, some math for you guys, that left only 10,000 men who were willing to fight. How do you guys think that Gideon was feeling? I want you guys to turn to someone near you in your house, either a parent or a sibling, and tell them how do you guys think Gideon was feeling? And then God said to Gideon again, there are still too many. God told Gideon to have all the men come down to the water and to watch how they all get a drink. This is a little weird, but bear with me because this is a great story. Most of them knelt down and put their face in the stream, but 300 of the men scooped up the water with their hands and drank with their tongue like a dog. I know none of you guys have ever done that, right? God said, with these 300 men, I will rescue you and I will give you victory over the Midianites. Now, how do you guys think Gideon was feeling? Do you think he believed God would help him win with just these 300 men that were left? Hmm. God did help Gideon and told him what to do next. Following God's instructions, Gideon gave everyone three things, a trumpet, a jar, and a torch. And at night, the men circled the place where the Midianites were camping. They lit their torches and covered them with the jars. So on Gideon's signal, everyone broke their jars, blew their trumpets, and they shouted, what do you guys think happened to the Midianites? Turn again to someone in your room or someone in the room and tell them, what do you guys think happened? Well, let's, let's see what that happened. The Midianites heard the loud noises. They saw the lights and they were so afraid that they started fighting against themselves and ran away. So God helped them. This may not have been the way that um, Gideon expected, but God helped him. Gideon and his men chased them until they were all gone. Helped his people just as he had promised. God promises to help us every day too, believing that he will help us in one way so we can bust our fears. So boys and girls, like I said earlier, God has to help everyone. We all need God's help. So whatever you're thinking of, whether you're scared, whether you need something, I want you this week to go to God and talk to him and ask him for his help and he will help you. It may not look the way you expect, but he will help you and he wants to help you and be there for you. So the last thing we're gonna do on Kid Spot is we are gonna do our memory verse. And I know a lot of you guys have sent me a video and last week when we showed a video of you guys doing your verses, that made my heart so happy. I think I watched it like 25 times. So if you haven't learned this verse yet, Make sure you do it because next week is our last week of the fear-busting 
um, series. So make sure you either learn it or if you have learned it that I get your video because we are going to announce all of our ribbon earners in a couple weeks too. And I want every single one of you kiddos to know this verse because it is great to have it stored in your heart. So if you know it, do it along with me. If you don't know it, make sure you learn it. So let's do it. It's Psalm 34, 4. Here we go. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me and he freed me from all my fears. Psalm 34, 4. As Mia Smith says, happy hallelujah. All right. Like I said, make sure you learn that verse because it's a good one to have stored in your heart. And I lied. There's actually one more thing I want to share with you guys before we hear from Pastor Renee. So I sent this out to your parents. Can you guys see these? These are sermon notes for you guys. And so I don't want you guys to run off yet. Just because Kids Spot's over doesn't mean there's not more that you guys can learn from today's service. So I want you guys, if you have these, to get these out and fill these out while Pastor Renee speaks today. And if you don't have these, then right now beg your parents to print these out for you for next week. Because if you fill these out and your parents send me a picture, I am going to send you something really awesome in the mail. Miss Renee and I have picked out some really fun prizes for you guys. And we want you guys to keep connecting with Jesus and we want you guys to learn something each Sunday. So make sure you fill those out. And if you need a paper copy, if anyone doesn't have a printer, I'll be happy to mail them or do whatever you can to make sure you're still connecting to Jesus. All right. Well, speaking of Pastor Renee, let's get ready to welcome her because she has an awesome message for us today. So make sure you fill out your sermon notes and say hello to Pastor